Shadow Doubt back for a second. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape of this championship strawweight battle. We see there 43-year-old Argentinian against the 36-year-old French fighter who is slightly taller. I mean, goosebumps here as we head into this strawweight championship bout between the reigning champion Spicy Samantha Jean-Francois Miret against the Argentinian challenger La Gladiadora Laura Balid. Some serious fighting mom energy in that cage right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, bad intense right from the get-go from the champ. Has the tie clinch. Huge knees there from John Francois. She's actually said that she wanted to show more of her striking in this bout. She's definitely off to a good start in that regard. That is a beautiful tie clinch. Just re-establishing great hand fighting from the champ right now. See, she's going to fill that little pocket of space with the knee. You can see what Balin's trying to do, trying to time one of those knees. Oh! Was that a low shot? Not quite sure, but Balin on the single leg takedown attempt here. Needs to run the pipe on it. Oh, she might get stuck in a power guillotine, though. Can't quite see the grip that the champ has. Uses it to turn, and those knees are nasty. Oh, absolutely. They've got some spice on them, for sure. She is peppering her with those shots. <laughs> can she? She can. Terrible, Sebastian. Another fantastic shot. Those knees are pinpoint. Oh, yeah, those are brutal. I'm just eating up the midsection of her opponent and gets the trip as well. This is potentially, and the early, I, I realize it's the early stances of the fight, but it's the best I think we've seen the Jean-Francois look. Oh, abs I mean, she's fighting mean in there. There's definitely bad intentions between, behind every single thing that she's thrown so far. And as you mentioned, some serious mom energy in there. Jean-Francois actually had to cancel a pivotal bout in her career because while she was getting prepared and she did some, uh, some blood work, she found out that she was pregnant, had to cancel the fight. Balin doing the wrong thing by turning away here. Finds herself mounted. Beautiful high mount from the champ. Now if she were to secure a submission, that would be a huge feather in her cap. Yeah, absolutely. Um, she's fighting like she's double parked right now. Oh, there's once again. Balin might sneak out the back here, try and get hold of a leg. This is where the champ needs to be careful. Needs to protect that hand. Oh! Not quite full extension. The knee looks safe now. But you wonder, even just a little bit of that, you wonder what kind of damage is potentially done. Yeah. Balin again, trying to get in on a heel here. Look at the work that Francoise is doing just by putting her foot in that little crease to create space. Beautiful work. Fantastic adjustment. Out of danger is the champion. Uh, she retains top position here up against the cage. Just under two minutes left to go in our opening round. Uh, she's tasted just how dangerous the ground game of Balin is. She'll be acutely aware that she needs to be smart in these positions. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as we mentioned in the walk-ins, Laura Bali, no slouch on the ground, and nine submissions, and it looked like a warning for activity there from the referee. I mean, in my opinion, they're pretty darn active. Yeah, you've got the champ essentially in half point here, yeah. in aggressive position. <laughs> looks like she's trying to sort of get a bit of a modified crucifix position as well, isolating the right arm of her opponent. If she, could land, if she could land some elbows here. Just some frame off elbows on the... There it is! You called it. I predict these teams. <laughs> That's some beautiful short elbow work there from the champ. If she can accumulate a couple of these. Because on the point of the ear, that's going to completely disrupt the equilibrium of Bowie. Yeah, great point. And the crowd here is going wild. Every time that John Francois lands a strike, and she's not, she's doing a great job of compressing Balin, not allowing her any space to get that ground game off. Cuts right through into the mount. 
Oh, these elbows are huge. 30 seconds left to go. Can the champ get the finish? Pride are loving it. Referee taking a long, hard look at it. Oh, these are fight ending strikes. The finish is near, that's for sure. Balin's been opened up. And look, I think Balin might survive to the second round, but how much will be left of her? Wow. Now it's going to be interesting to see how quickly Balin gets up. Gingerly is the answer. Oh, yeah, taking her time. That nose has been squished. I mean, that was one-way traffic, and Jean-Claude Saab was in the driver's seat. Unquestionably. Very close. If she had perhaps another 10 seconds or so, I think she would have finished the round. Yeah. Again, making the necessary adjustments. Realized how dangerous the ground game was of Balin. Then in the second phase of the fight, tightened everything right up. Didn't allow Balin any space to get those hips active to try and dive for a submission. Yeah, great point there, Phil. Here's some of that ground and pound. It looked like it was going to mean the end of the fight. Didn't quite get it. She was so close, though. Veteran move there and sort of adjusting the yeah, mouthpiece yeah, yeah. just before. Buying yourself for the, as much time as you can. Yeah. And Jean Francois looks like she's just getting started. Nice show of respect. Now to punch each other in the face. Yeah. <laughs> I think we might see. The, uh, uh, yeah. Fallon needs to be smarter with those takedowns. And her nose is leaking right away. Oh, beautiful inside leg kick there from the champion. Heavy, heavy hips from the champ. Doesn't want to get taken down. Oh, beautiful oh. transition and scramble. Used that underhook, that almost quarter Nelson position. Timed it beautifully and then boom, lands in top position. And this is a nightmare start to the round for Bali. And right back where the first round ended up. They're not elbows, Sebastian. They are elbows. Yeah. It looks like... Perhaps Jean Francois was thinking of locking up a submission there, but she resorts to elbows instead. It's almost as if the champ has a bet on with someone that they, they bear. She can't finish the fight with elbows. She's like, all right, hold my beer. Let's see. Yeah. And just even just the, the positional awareness from Jean Francois yeah. against a very, very dangerous Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. Just as I say that, she turns out, which she should be turning in. <laughs> Almost back to mount. And again, just nasty, nasty strikes here. I mean, credit to Balin. She is a, a gladiator for sure, but trying to roll in on the leg here. And again, just a heavy, heavy hips of Samantha Jean-Francois. She's doing a great job. She's got that three-quarter mount. Maybe trying to set up a head arm choke here. Yeah. And again, what a coup this would be. I mean, Jean Francois just gets better every time we see yeah. her. And I would compare, the, I would steal a phrase from my jiu-jitsu coach, Johnny Burroughs, but everything that Jean-Francois is doing now, her game is like death metal. It's low and slow and heavy. It's absolutely beautiful. And back to full mount now. Plenty of time to work. Again, just establishing the position. Can't let Balin out the back. Oh, that nose is giving her serious problems, Sebastian. Yeah. And this is... This body language here from Bali, and it's... When she's doing her best at just trying to cover up... She's surviving, is what yeah. she's doing right now. She's surviving. She's, everything she's doing is reactive, as opposed to being proactive. Exactly. And I think Jean-Francois might be trying to get at an arm there. It looked like she was trying to position for something. These elbows have become a fantastic new weapon in the arsenal of Jean-Francois. Oh, absolutely. 
and taking her time. She's trying to get that Dagestani handcuff. Gift wrap her opponent, and again, elbow after elbow. Heavy strikes here from spicy Samantha Jean-Francois. Nothing vanilla about these strikes. Switches to the back take. And again, the breathing of Balin has to be impacted by the nose. Beautiful switch to the body triangle. Jean Francois does have four wins by rear naked choke. Can she make it five? Using the blood as a lubricant to get underneath. There's the top! Huge! The biggest win in the career of Samantha Jean Francois. The fifth win of her career by rear naked choke. Sebastian, talk to me about the gravity of that win. I mean, that is that is spicy as all hell, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and still, and even better than last time. La gagnante, par soumission au deuxième round, et toujours son world champion of the world! Le rouge, spicy, Une victoire avec l'Hexagone 4, une victoire à l'Hexagone 7. On a eu Gaël Grimaud qui a été champion. On a vu Anthony Big Morel tout à l'heure. En fait, euh, la réunion, c'est l'île du MMA, Samantha. Bah écoutez, je pense que ce soir, nous les réunionnais, on a montré que nous aussi, on a du talent sur notre petite île. Et on compte encore euh, faire rêver les gens qui aiment le MMA. Et merci beaucoup au public d'Orange. Merci Big up to the uh, Reunion Island. On t'a vu, on a cru que t'étais en mesure d'en terminer à la fin de la première reprise avec un premier ground and pound et puis ensuite tu franchis l'Everest, on te voit prendre une grande respiration pour continuer de travailler, elle a été dure au mal en face. Oui, on va pas se mentir, elle a été vraiment pas mal, costaud et en plus euh, avec des jambes qui m'emmerdaient un peu, faut le dire. Hein. Elle voulait tout de suite reprendre dans la garde et moi je voulais pas y aller, je voulais éviter le sol. Finalement ça a fini au sol. Votre championne de l'Hexagone, Samantha Jean-François.